The reward rate is now around 57, 58%. Okay. The feedback consists of a simple tone when the conditions are met, and it includes an animation. So we'll just let the Nancy watch this for a few minutes and just watch where it goes. I'll make one uh, observation. We're, since we're monitoring z-scores for relative powers, power ratios and such, anything that it brings in an artifact is going to be likely to stop the feedback. For example, Nancy, please do a jaw, bite shut down on your jaw. To, there, everything stopped. What happened is there's a whole bunch of excess beta showing up. Or if you flutter your eyes, for example, Again, it stops because it looks like there's excess slow wave activity. So we don't need to add any specific artifact detection that's included in the nature of the design. Because an artifact EEG does not look normal. Tom, it seems to have leveled off about 50. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't you increase the target size to? I would. So let's raise the target size. <clears throat> Now it's two standard deviations with a target size of standard deviation two. We've made a significant change. We're getting lots of feedback now. So we found the corner. What I'm gonna do is back up one. There we are. So we're just feathering the feedback so that now we know that the the size of the target that's discriminating that 10% of the Z scores that are, that are being affected is now 1.9 standard deviations as an instantaneous deviation. And that's really the only thing that needs to be adjusted. Now the feedback's around 75%, which is a very workable level. down to 1.8. 